I think, hey, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna hop in the boxing ring, and I think he's gonna fight oh, Jake, pa- Jake Paul in his next opponent. Because dude. Dude, I've been wondering that who his next opponent is. I mean, there's something lined up here, right? Yeah, there's something. There it is. Jake it, already hit him up, dude. And we're back. Welcome back to the Guys Being Dudes podcast. I am your host, RJ Bernal, and right here to my right is your other co-host, Mr. Luke Sula. But thank you guys for tuning in and listening to us. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course, if you're a visual learner like myself, then YouTube. But Luke, you know, we're in a different scenery today, man. I want you to go into that real quick. But first, let me ask you, how is this Tuesday going for you? You know, man... Honestly, it feels good to be back. I mean, that's that's for one. It's been a little bit. It feels good to be back. I'm firing at every cylinder. Really, I'm fired up. It's another great Tuesday. I can't complain. You know, like you said, it's a new scenery. We're here, guys. We're here at Straw Hat Pizza. Yep. You yes, sir. Straw Hat Pizza. They got good food. They mm-hmm. got good drinks. And they got even better company, guys. I'm telling you, this is the place to be. We were just here the other day on Football Sunday. Oh, my gosh. You couldn't find a seat. Dude, you could not find it a seat. Crazy. It was crazy. Like, we were like, wow. So, guys, I'm telling you, this is the spot to be. Head on over. I want to give a huge thank you to them because, mm-hmm. I mean, they, they let us come here, set yep. up. You know, we've been we've been hanging out here. We got some apps. We got, <laughs> got a little bit of water here. You know the yes, deal. Yes, sir, so. man. Hey. Let's get this thing rolling. Yep, man. Sean Minnewawa too, guys. It's in Clovis. Oh, yep. uh, oh, Sean Minnewawa, guys. So yeah, come on over. But you know, like you said, man, it's 2022. Happy New Year to you guys, guys. I hope you guys yes. had a great holiday season. I know I did. Uh, you know, watched a lot of movies, spent a lot of time with the family, definitely, a lot of definitely. friends. You know, that's crucial. And um, especially you know, in this time, it's very oh yeah, important. yeah, yeah. No, especially in this time, I feel like there's a lot of people that are out there that need help, which we will we will be getting into. But, uh, you know, 2022, man, it's a time, you know, the beginning of the year is a time to reflect on the previous year. And, you know, that's what I personally like to do. I like to figure out what I, what went well and then what didn't go well, you know, in the last year. So, you know, that's where we come up with goals and like New Year's resolutions because, you know, it's important to be it's important to be self-aware and to be honest with each other, too, in this time, because, you know, if you're not honest with yourself and you're just going to, you know, play or, you know, you're just going to joke around and uh wow pff, let me regather myself if you're not going to take anything seriously then it's not going to be beneficial for you so you know seriously like the end of the year reflection is a really good time and to make yourself a better person and you know i got a couple new year's resolutions one to get back in shape i feel like this last year i got off on a terrible routine honestly i was personally not going to the gym as much as i wanted to go um i got pff, out of shape as you guys can tell but you know starting off the new year right got up this morning went for a mile run you know, 8 a.m., got that in the way, got the endorphins flying. But, you know, I, I want to ask you guys out there, I want you guys to have good resolutions, not just some resolutions like, oh, I want to stay off social media for a little while. No, I want you guys to go and figure out something that's going to make you a better person, something that's going to change the way you are and the way you continue to live throughout the rest of your life. So, you know, I also got, I need to slow down. I mentioned it in the past, you know, things about just slowing down is crucial. And just really taking it in everything that we got to offer. And, you know, another thing is live a little more, man. You know, I know you want to go for a hike in a half dome. You know, that personally to me, that's a no-no for me, you know, because I'm not comfortable with that type of stuff. But, you know, this year I'm going to set out to live a little bit more. So I am going to go for that hike or go on that hike with you, man. But how about you? Do you have any uh, resolutions? Uh, Kind of just going on to what you're saying before I get into that. I mean, really, I don't... I think, you know, the best person doesn't make New Year's resolutions, really. I think they set goals at the new year, like, you know, things they want to achieve in that next year. But in a sense, a resolution, I mean, if you're if you're if you're striving to be that great person, that great success, you're you got resolutions all the time. You got those goals all the time. You're doing everything. And I mean, so it's just a matter of I think it's just kind of that little refresher. But, Mm -hmm. you know, I think it's good. It's important, obviously. Yeah. Um, So I don't really like using the word resolution. Like everybody's like New Year resolution, you know, all this stuff. I I just I hate hearing it because it just sounds so cliche. Because what does everybody do when the first thing you hear someone be like, yeah, my New Year resolution is this. Mm -hmm. And then what's the first thing you think? Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I mean, at least in my opinion, for certain things, that's kind of the first thing I think when when someone's telling me their New Year resolution. I'm like, all right, you know, go ahead, do it. But, you know, it's a New Year resolution. Like, that's what you're saying. Like, that's why I just think it's a cliche kind of a term, if that makes sense. So it's like a goal. Like, I think mentally, like for us, like just like what you were just saying, like I was just reading that, reading, just got into a new book and they're already saying like, it's literally a mindset. Like if you just put your mindset to what you want to do, 
you can do it. So to mm-hmm. say you're going to have this new year resolution isn't you put your mind to it. Go and yeah. go and actually do it. Go and go forth and put every, you know, whatever you can mm-hmm. to do it and whatever the case may be. Yeah. So I feel like we're all we're all different in a sense because for me personally, you know, like I am really self aware. Like I when I know I'm in the wrong, like I'm in the wrong and I know it. So for me, it, the end of the year is a really good time for me to be truthfully honest with myself and say, OK, I did not like that. I do not want to do that again this year. So. Yeah, resolution is cliche. So I guess you know a bunch of people but have I, different. Only thing, only reason why I'm saying it is because I'm, the fact is like, why why do you have to ask yourself at the end of the year, like, or why do you have to reflect at the end of the year? Why can't you reflect every month? Why can't you it's reflect good, at the end a, of the week? Why you know, can't you reflect every when you six go months? into a new year? I feel like it's a new start. It's a fresh start. You know, when you're in that 2021 vibe, yeah, you know, every day you can you can have like that resolution. You could always be thinking like that, which you know we both do. We're not saying anything that bad about each other, but for me writing a new year seeing that new number go across is a f- whole new start i feel like you know everything that's happened in the past is the past and now it's time to move on and become better okay so that's- let me ask why people think that because that's the thing that you know i'm kind of pushing it is because in the in the sense of it's nothing's changed the only thing that changed was the number on of that we so-called 2021 2022 mm-hmm. that's the only thing that changed the, the, the weather didn't change the time didn't change but Nobody changed. Nothing changed in this year besides, mm-hmm. you know, the, the year started. Like, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like, so that's kind of what I'm saying is like, why does the the new, the end of the year kind of like have to be like, because yesterday was still yesterday. Like today makes no, you know what I mean? Like it makes no I know difference. And so it's just a fact of like, I think that like you can reflect at any time, just a matter of when you want to put it. So for a fact of like end of the year. I'm not saying no, don't go, don't not do New Year's resolutions. I just think that if you want to be that one step ahead, I think the the setting those goals and those little resolutions and those 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 reflecting moments throughout the year is what what sets you foot ahead. Yeah, and I that's agree. part, and that's why that's part of one of my resolution goals, as I would like to say, is I want to start reflecting more on myself, looking back at certain things and certain times, like okay. What did I do these last couple months? All right, what can I do these next couple months? Boom. And okay, boom, let's fix it. All right, what did I do in that last year in this time? You know, mm-hmm. certain things like kind of how we were going back with the jotting down our, our journals and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, just writing shit down. So that way in that next year, we can look back and be like, wow, you know, that's what I was doing in that year. Kind of, And mm-hmm. then look and see what, what our resolution or goal was for this moment. Look back, see where we're and really reflect and truly yeah. understand. I get so, that. Wow. So do you have any goals? Um, one, I would probably the routine, better routine. I better sleep schedule. It's like I was talking to you a little bit. I want to start that, that block scheduling a little bit. I don't know if people have heard of it, but it's like called time blocking. And it's literally as the name it sounds is you literally yeah. just time block your schedule. Like from the moment you wake up to the moment you fall asleep, you just time it all out. And it's not a to-do list. It's a little different kind of, I guess, but I'm going to try it out. I haven't fully tried it out. I want to get into it and then I'll get back to it. But you were talking to me a little bit about that yesterday. It, it takes a while to get used to it. At first they say it's really yeah, hard because really, you don't, really hard. you don't really know how long you take to do certain things. And I feel like that's, that's probably why it's hard because after that two weeks, then you start to feel like, you know, like, oh, when you go to the gym, you know, two weeks ago, you probably like, okay, I'll be there for an hour. But then Most after a, a couple of weeks, you know, you start keeping tabs of okay let me see how long i'm actually there for then you get to like dial it down okay you know what i'm there for an hour and a half so i feel like that part gets better but i was thinking about that last night i really want to start doing that too but i mean it's like what they say what is it? do something for 21 days and yeah you, you know, it's you a habit break a habit or something yeah. like that i think once i get into it i'll i'll get back and see how kind of how it goes but the other one i had was kind of saying yes to, to yes to more things in a sense like i i mean you we kind of talk about how i like to go and do things but there are so many times i'm just like nah like i'd rather just chill or rather just whatever but i feel like you know might as well there's with everything going on every you know all the opportunities that you never know what you could have i think it's perfect opportunity just go say yeah just Mm -hmm. if someone's like hey blah 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 we want to go do this sure you know whatever even if you might be uncomfortable you gotta you you gotta be a little bit of uncomfortable to try out new things and all that so those are kind of the two things i really relied on and basically just really the podcast just kind of keep going up yeah, with man. that and really going but yeah we were we, we stayed pretty consistent over these last few months so six so. months seven months whatever we've been doing this for like even i don't know if you guys know this but you know we didn't post a podcast for the past two weeks but we still got a video out to you guys uh we dropped the vlog you know vlog we'll be talking about here in a little bit but we also dropped the top 10 that top 10 is awesome yeah dude. i thought that was I really mean, cool yeah it, it was really cool, cool. For the first i got a time. lot of good feedback from that too you know because 
it was a chance for us to see like, damn, we actually did get a lot of the guests. We've got a lot of different people on. It's diverse. It's not all sports, vibes, man. Yeah. It's got, I mean, the best one though, number one is fashion, bro. That yeah, shit no, was like, sick, yeah, dude. dude. I mean, you can't, I mean, go, you can't, can't go wrong. Go wrong. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a memory that will last forever, dude. Not Episode for 21, right? Yeah, you shit, man. Yeah, he's a shit, bro. That's that, yeah, that shit was fresh though. But. but dude, we got a lot of a lot of news, dude, going on. We got college football is going crazy. Going Football's coming to an end. The football season, bro, is coming to an end. It's getting close, man. But yeah. any exciting things that you want to talk about this last not, weekend? Not really. Just besides the you know that Rose Bowl game, man. I don't know if you guys saw that Utah versus Ohio State, man. I I didn't watch it up until the end, like about the third fourth quarter. But man, dude, I was like, I couldn't believe my. It was it was genuinely one of the craziest games I oh, watched. Yeah. Ohio State ended up pulling it off 48 45. But dude, and some of the records, the, the receiver, I can't blanking on his name right now, but he had like he had like over 300 and something yards, Shut bro. Up. Yes, dude. 300 and something yards receiving and like two, three touchdowns, four touchdowns, something like that. Holy the shit. The quarterback had threw five touchdowns. Like, bro, it was crazy, dude. I didn't look at the statistics, yeah, dude, dude, but no, damn, they, that's yeah, crazy. Crazy game. Like the 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 Utah quarterback, and see, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. The Utah quarterback, he was like crying and stuff after the game, really, like, kind of like and no, upset, like you yeah. know, like I let you guys down type crying vibe. But I mean, I get it. Like he's a competitor. It's a tough game. He lost that thing, but I mean, to cry, yeah, like I that. know, right, man. But hey, we got a we got a Clovis uh, quarterback, the close high quarterback, going to uh, Utah next year. I wonder if that guy maybe he was crying because he was a senior. What if that was his last year or something? I can't remember. I see. I yeah. I can't remember if that there was something. Of, but like when I saw the conference, though, the, the he was like, like he was like, I'm sorry. Like I let you guys down. Like oh, all this damn. stuff like that. And then, but it was just like, come on, man. Like, yeah, you, you can't know, be doing that. Just, it's just the game, game, dude. There's, yeah, another, there's game. another game. There you there's go. Another game. But yeah, I don't know. I thought that was. I thought that the game was interesting overall, but what about I mean, the playoffs, bro? How are you feeling about the the uh, Cincinnati game, the uh, Georgia, Alabama? Who's the other one? Um, who was who did Georgia play? Michigan. Georgia played, yeah, Michigan. There you go. Yeah, so I mean, I thought, I thought honestly, Cincinnati. I didn't think they were going to win, but I thought they were going to put up a better fight. Put up a better fight in a sense that just couldn't score on offense for shit. They couldn't do anything Dude, on they offense. They were dog shit. Yeah, but I mean, I figured Alabama and Georgia already and it's like you said in earlier podcast I mean you know it was going to be Alabama Georgia but I mean really it's come down to the, the prediction of who's going to win this now because I mean yeah. I think it's it's hard to beat a team twice it's hard to beat a team twice and with Alabama they're coming in as underdogs Georgia, Alabama is yeah they're okay. coming in as underdogs and Georgia's coming in ranked and it, and you know it's it, and so Georgia or Alabama's kind of got a chip on their shoulder considering the fact that they beat Georgia and they're the underdogs in this game so I mean I think it's going to be interesting Nick yeah. Saban don't like being the underdogs no, and hell he's no been, he's been pretty pissed off ever since that last loss and so I don't know it's interesting I think that he uh I think that they got that whole team's got something up their sleeve. Mm-hmm. But Georgia, dude, their defense, if they can last four quarters, I think they have a chance. Dude, did you see how, how big some of those dudes are on that team? Their average is 6'8", 300 pounds. Bro, that's ridiculous. Pounds like that. Their average line size. And they're fast, team. too. And they're they're the not, yeah. in the college football, dude. It's crazy. That that line is bizarre. I remember, dude, I, the 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 Georgia Michigan game I was looking at number 99 I was like dude, bro he is massive he was massive dude. bro was he like, lined yo. up too in the beginning and that's yeah. when I saw him like yo dude oh my he was gosh. huge bro but he was towering over their tall guy he was towering over everybody yeah like, it was nuts but. yeah no that was nuts but dude I wish that the college football playoffs I know this is a big talk around you know football but I just wish that it was at least six teams you know eight teams would be great just expand it a little bit more dude because why I, do you it, think that it's just the same teams in there every single year. Like, I feel like Alabama and Georgia, I mean, they're always in it. The SEC is always in it. And I mean, you know, it's it means that they're great teams. Like, they obviously, obviously get all the best guys in the country. But I don't know, man. Seeing a team like Cincinnati being there, being the the, the mix this year, shows that other teams are also could be in the mix as well. So I think expanding it to maybe six or eight, could we could see more of an exciting college football playoff yeah. and i think they've talked about that but i mm-hmm. dude i think bro even like having something like the march madness type vibe yeah you know like even something like that would be sick like if they had something like that bro that would get views dude, that shit's like, crazy that'd bro. be insane but i mean i don't know why a lot of it has to do with money because obviously those two schools pull in way more money than a cincinnati michigan game mm-hmm. would or any you know any of that case would be so i mean it really comes down to business like that's the, what i've seen or what i've you know come to mm-hmm. speculation is it just it's business at this point they're not going to change anything if they're making the money if they're making the money they ain't gonna change shit you know what i mean if it, if it, if it ain't broke don't fix it you know right what I mean? but 
Uh, it, no, I mean, it, but it, the other point too I wanted to make with all these bowl games and everything is the the injuries that were going on with oh, these guys. Because yeah. I mean, like there was a there was a good time when like a lot of these guys they weren't playing. Like they were like, nah, we're not playing these bowl games because mm-hmm. you know they they want to go to the NFL. They didn't want to get hurt. Like people were telling them all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it seemed like these last couple of years they've either the agents or somebody has given all these guys a little leeway or kind of their own choice to let them play or not or something. He's got a lot of like. There's two, two or three key quarterbacks in the college playoffs that just got hurt. Ole Miss guy, I think it was Utah quarterback got hurt. Somebody else got hurt, or receiver or something like that. And I mean, those, those the draft, are first round, yeah, those are first rounders that, yeah. that got hurt. You know, so that's hurting the draft. You know, yeah. so and like I you're saying, it the football is a business, dude. It's not. That's not going to benefit no. them. They're just going. The, the teams are going to look at them like, oh, you're hurt. Here's half a million less. Exactly. You know, here's a couple million less, dude. Yeah. They or, take advantage or they of that. Draft. Yeah, right. They won't oh, even draft, dude. dude. I just watched, I literally just watched that National Champions movie that just came out. And this, it's the story on LaMarcus James. And he had like this blown out knee. And like he knew that, you know, as soon as he did his MRI and all of his, you know, combine stuff and everything, that he wasn't going to get drafted first round. But in the, by, in the media and everything, he was a first rounder at where he was at right now. But it's because he didn't tell anybody his injuries and all that stuff like that. So, I mean, I think that's kind of the same, same case as like these guys, you know. They're just out here, you know, going to get injured. They're going to lose their their whole opportunity and chance. I know, and it so, goes. I mean, it goes to uh, even after you're drafted. If you're on the team and you have like a condition that you know is going to hurt your career, it's going to take away a little bit, a little bit of money out of your pocket. You're going to hush up. You know, you're not going to tell the team. Just like Antonio Brown, man, I feel like there is something deeper that is going on in his head that he's not telling. You know, the uh, the doctors, the team doctors, he's not telling somebody that there's something going on in his head because, like, you know, the players have to be diagnosed. You know, if there's something going on, they'll, they'll be they'll be seen by the doctors, and then the doctors will diagnose them and all this and that. But with AB, it's a it's a it's a weird situation with Antonio Brown because this is not the first time he's done this, man. This is like what the second, third time he's it's he's done times, something yeah. fucking nuts, yeah, like absolutely crazy, right? That means, dude, in in no in no way, shape, or form, like is a normal as a a normal thinking person going to be doing that. It's just not happening. And the guys were talking about Antonio Brown. If you guys did not see what happened, you know, he stormed off in the third quarter against the Jets um, this last Sunday, man. What were your thoughts on that? When you first saw that? Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't watch the game. I just saw all the highlights and all the talk and everything. And I looked into it. Um, I mean, there's obviously we're never we're not going to know the exact story. We're never going to know the exact story of anything that, that happened. But from what I've seen, it's, you know, they they're either saying he was he was injured that he had, there was an injury earlier in the game and they said that they were going to bench him because they didn't want him to get more injured. And then he got pissed because he was the eight catches away from getting yeah. his catch bonus or whatever. The third bonus, of a million. Yeah. The, the bonus that he was possibly going to get. So he was pissed and that's why, it, you know, he stormed off, you know, there was guys like Mike F Mike Evans and them, you know, who were trying to hold him back, tell him like, nah, don't do this and all that stuff. Like, he's like, nah, you could tell. He's like, nah, fuck this. Like, he's like, I'm out, take yeah. stuff off. All the fans are just motherfucking him and everything. And so do you think he had a reason? He had a good reason to do that? Let's say if it was the money indeed, if it was the third of a million dollars that made him do this, is See, it I'm, okay? I'm, I'm trying to put myself in his shoes and like, dude, if I'm a receiver for Tom Brady, for that team, for just the NFL organization, I don't know, man. Like, it's hard to put myself in that shoes because, you know, obviously I've never been in that situation. But I mean, like, I'm trying to like see it in the way that he's really seeing this because there's something off, bro. And like, I truly think that like, not in a bad way, but he's like, he's sick. Like in a different way, he's sick. There's something wrong. Yeah. Like you just said, there's something wrong with him. There's and he's not telling anybody. I, I personally think, or he doesn't even know. That, that's why I'm saying. I don't think it's, he's not telling anybody. He just doesn't truly know. He's, his ego, his thought, his mentality and everything that he goes about himself is so boosted that he can't see that. He's no, seeing what his vision is. He and feels invincible almost, yes, you know? Yes, yeah, you know, he he probably does feel invincible. And, I mean, dude, dude, I don't know if you saw the video of him in the Uber after with the dude, with his Uber driver. Like, he's, There's a video of him in the Uber? I yeah, saw just bro, a picture of him no, waiting and all yeah, that. Yeah, he's literally oh, in, find that. bro, he's literally in the freaking Uber just chilling, literally sit back chilling. The Uber driver's like, hey, yo, what's up, baby? He's like, what am I was good? He's like, hey, what's up, man? Like, bro, like, right Acting back like after, nothing's wrong, like, huh? Like, nothing's nothing, wrong. Dude, that didn't happen huh yeah so i mean i just don't like as a character like as a competitor character when it comes down to as an athlete you don't quit like that if you quit like that i mean i think that's a coward move yeah i, th- I think that's a straight up coward move what he 100%. did right there coward move some people are like it was the money you know i'd be pissed too if it was about the money 
you don't there's walk, a time and place to walk. You don't walk and it's like not that. then. You don't do yeah. that. No, I no, don't. Yeah. yeah, you don't do it right there. You address no. you. I don't even, dude. You had half a game to possibly uh-huh. get those eight catches. You could have. I don't know. There's so many things you could have done. You have still four games of the season left to get. Yeah, or no, 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 no there's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. to go off on that last season, they did the exact same thing to a couple of their season receivers, bro. They called three post routes who did tampa bay yeah bruce arians called three post routes last season on the last game and they they came out and said this because of that same incentives he was going to get a third of a million dollars but so my head is like why wouldn't he just wait till the end well, sorry no, why wouldn't he just wait but you're telling until me that, the end you're telling me that head coach bruce arian nfl football game nfl sunday football game that the one thing on his mind is okay let me get let me get him three, four more catches so that way he at can that get time, that. no. But I mean, no, it's proven. Like they did it last year. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the guy three, three catches back to back. Dude, it was literally three post routes back to back to back to AB so he can get the incentives. It happened last year. Like, look it up. It's crazy no, yeah, I know. shit. So but they what I'm will saying, do that. Though, is like they yeah, will do that. But uh, but what I'm saying though, theoretically, like if like you really think that coach is like first thought process no, like he's yeah. he's thinking like oh, and especially when they were losing to the jets that's like, what i'm saying yeah. yeah like he's worried about no i need a win yeah. first now right. before i can get you your money like i gotta get like at the end of the day it's his job he uh-huh. loses to the jet that's a bad look on i'm not saying he's gonna go lose his job but yeah. you know that's still a bad look on him he doesn't want to lose that and so a, yeah and another thing i saw too was in it and this is different than the money but i i could have sworn i heard bruce arians say that you know we asked him to go in the game and he didn't want to go in the game and they asked him twice. I've seen multiple things about this. They've asked him twice, AB, go in the game. And he didn't want to. Yeah, they so said. there's something there as well, like not on top of the things. Like it can't just be the money because if it was the money, his ass is in there, dude. His ass getting that catch real quick, you know? Well, apparently, from what I saw, it said Bruce Ar- Like they said, Bruce Arians said that if you don't want to go in when I when I tell you to go in, then leave. And that's when he walked away and le- left because he was like, all right, then whatever. But I think, hey. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna hop in the boxing ring, and I think he's gonna fight oh, Jake, Paul, Jake Paul and his next opponent. Because dude. dude, I've been wondering that who his next opponent is. I mean, there's something lined up here, right? Yeah, there's something. There it is. Jake a- already hit him up, dude. And AB already. And what does AB want? He wants the money. So Jake Paul and AB. Who's a- AB's dude? I mean, he made world news yesterday, bro. Like he was on every TV. Everybody heard about him. every you know single what I mean? freaking device. Anything. And dude. that's Jake Paul's motto: is how can I? How can I get like that kind of stuff? Trigger the people. How can I get on TV? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Those two people collide in oh a boxing meet, rat match, dude. It's gonna be the most money they've ever seen. You know? What oh I mean? yeah, hundred percent. And now, okay, who's winning that fight? Yeah, I think Jake Paul. Is. Dude, Jake's not bad, bro. But, see, Jake's that, okay, actually see, not that you know bad. What? Actually, anymore. No, like, you know what? He's changed my mind. Yeah, no, he's not bad. But but now thinking about it, I don't think he will because truly, I think yeah, I don't think he will now. I think going back because like everybody's just gonna be like, really, you're doing this? Like you're not fighting another real boxer? Because gives- do they give a fuck? No, I know they don't give a fuck, and I, yeah, I wouldn't either because <laughs> when that money is coming in. But you know, that's what this, everybody's gonna say. Oh, yeah. look at now, he's not fighting another real boxer. You know, yeah, but 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 it makes me go back to it, the Daddy Dana situation, bro. He put he pulled out a notion to Daddy Dana. He straight up said, "Yo, I will fight Jorge Masvidal. I'll retire from I'll retire from boxing if you give fighters fifty k because they're originally making like twelve k a said fight." This? Jake Paul, he said, okay. if you change all fighters, all like all fights get 50 K, they get full health and life insurance or like, or like after something insurance. And then they get, uh, there was another incentive or something like, I can't remember the third one. And, uh, he, he like listed them out and he was like, you know, I'll, I'll do this and I'll go and I'll fight Jorge Masvidal in the octagon. If you do all this stuff like that. And Dana White just said, you know, you're stupid. That's literally all your respondent was like, you're stupid. Obviously. I mean, Jake Paul was doing it to, you know, cause that type yeah. of controversy but i mean hey that is it's still he's doing it smart because he is still putting the fact that like yo like he is still uncovering the fact that ufc isn't taking care of these guys at all and that's the thing that's been the talk controversy about the ufc for years is they don't get taken care of from like all the fighters say every Mm -hmm. fighter podcast i've ever watched sugar sean o'malley conor mcgregor all these guys everybody cole escovito they all say it the yeah. UFC shafts the fighters, bro. And it's wrong. I mean, it is I, wrong. Dana White, dude, like they said, like Jake Paul has said, pull out Dana White, what Dana White makes, bro. And you'll be surprised why the, you'll be surprised. Like he's making 50 times more of these, what these people are at any of the, you know what I mean? And he's like, not throwing his body in the octagon. No, he know? hasn't touched. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a big ass dude. Yeah, I ain't fucking with dude. him, but <laughs> yeah, no. So, okay, I mean, who's winning in a fight? Him or The well, Rock? Who do you. <laughs> I don't know the Big rock. Ass dudes. The rock's fucking him up. All right, all right, but who do you? I don't. Who do you think the next opponent is though? 
I Who? think for Jake. Yeah, Jake Paul. Jake, uh, dude, I think. I think the Fury fight's gonna happen. I think that's gonna be the next next fight, the Tyson yeah, Fury. So. Since that one didn't he happen, wants to fuck him up. Yeah, he just wants to, to fuck prove, him up bad. Just to be like, yo, I can't yeah. fight a boxer. Yeah, I think I feel, so. But that, like, you kept saying, like, he, Jake's always trying to find, like, the uh, he's always trying to pick. You know, he keeps keeps trying to fucking pick the bone. Well, he to says piss it people at off. anytime, anywhere, any place, or something like that. Yeah. Like his little motto he's got now, and I mean, he's he's sticking with it. Like, yeah. he's trying to prove that, like, yo, I can do this shit. So I think if like, because yeah. he even was saying Nate Diaz and Diaz guys, like, he'd love to fight them. Mm-hmm. I mean, that'd be sick. Those guys are scrappers. I think he Obviously, also says all, that shit though because he knows Dana is not going to agree. Oh no, it didn't, bro. I I mean, that's what made Jake Paul is trolling. You know what I mean? Yeah. He said, like, that's what made him. So obviously all this is trolling. But when it makes when it gets done, that's what makes it crazier. You know what I mean? Because yeah, all true. of this started with a troll. Yeah. Think about where the boxing started. It started with a troll. Like, he was just trolling. He wasn't serious. And then he was like, nah, mm-hmm. fuck that. I'm going to go for real about it. I'm going to show you guys like a fucking fight. Mm-hmm. Went in. Now look what he's doing. You know what I mean? Do you think he feels like that sense of invincibility as well? Like uh, the same thing that like AB's it's, feeling I mean, in a sense? As a fighter, you have to though. And yeah, he's that's doing, real. He's doing the like from what I've seen and everything I've watched, he's doing the fighting thing legit. Like he's truly trying to be a fighter. Like he's doing the training, everything like that. You got, and so and part of that is the mindset. You gotta have the mindset that you're the fucking best. You're the baddest. You're the fucking everything. Mm-hmm. Right. Obviously yeah. he's front and two in parts of certain the scenarios, but Hey, it's part of the show. It's for entertainment. It's part of the show. It's, it's for entertainment. You know you what know? I mean? Yeah. And that, and that invincibility can go, it could, it could be a really, really bad thing. And another name that came off the top of my dome right now is Tiger Woods. Uh, you watched that ti- that Tiger documentary last year, right? When it came out. Yes. You remember that? Well, dude, that thing, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but you know, it shows a true like picture of how Tiger's life was. And you know, that invincible, that invincible factor Tiger had that when he was, you know, going that 21 year old, 22 year old, 23, when he was, you know, the best athlete in the entire world, you know, like he was changing the game of golf. He was changing the game, the whole world in a sense. Right. And when you're at that caliber, you know, you kind of do start feeling a sense of invincibility. You start feeling like, okay, you know what? Like I can, I can kind of get away with whatever I want. But what happened with Tiger is that shit, that shit took him to the top. Right. And what I always say, what must go up? must come back down and you know same thing for ab that invincibility when he's at the top that shit's gonna come back down and that's what i'm worried about for jake i don't know if jake's fully at the top i think jake's consistently staying you know keep going up but when you get to that invincibility factor and you're at the very top that shit is will end and your life will come to you know you will get humbled i truly believe you will get humbled but that's when you're fucking up though when jake paul's not out here fucking up he's just he's doing it because he his part is social media Mm mm-hmm you know what I mean? Like his, like he's, he know, like he's, he knows what triggers the people. Mm-hmm. He's not out here getting DUIs or car wrecks and stuff like that. He's yeah. done some, dude, he's, yeah, done, he's done some, some crazy, some crazy stuff, shit. But that was and when he they said were back some, younger some, and stuff. He said some fucking crazy shit. And the way the world works with like cancel culture with all the shit. Oh, yeah, that, like it, it does not take much. And I bet like if they went out there and they, they try to get Jake Paul for something big and they dug like i'm sure they could end up finding some and that's honestly sad it's sad that we even have a thing called cancel culture like there's it's no the right, it's not right bro like that people sit on their fucking asses every single day at the computer and try to fucking just end someone's life like it's not cool but i mean that's just the world the way the world it's works jealousy. Man. it is jealousy, jealousy too. it is jealousy but no i'm actually i'm actually excited to to see who jake fights next dude yeah, we'll I, see. I think he's a tr- i think like you're saying he's a true fighter i think he's, he's doing i think he's right. proved it enough i mean i don't know if i that that knockout was still fishy oh, to me i mean really was, yeah it was i mean all the woodley knockout the knockout he just had yeah i mean like Bro, that was a clean fucking yeah hook. it was a clean knockout but i mean there were so many things that made it look like it was pretty much like yo i'm gonna take a dive and i'm gonna fucking make the bag because bro he didn't he wasn't he didn't have to go to the hospital he was fine after Who, I mean, he? yeah i mean yeah he took a rock but i mean he also got a fucking bag i'm not saying i'm not saying that but i just think that there was a little something up because bro the whole fight and yeah i mean he was setting him up like he said like i'm saying like i'm i'm, I'm agreeing they fought they definitely fought but i think that last second was like all right we're we're we're, we're losing here we got to figure something out and he got and he said hey boom and gave him that little little signal Dropped his thing, took a, took a took a shot for the took a shot for the money, possibly. I think so. It could have could have been. They definitely fought though, hundred percent. They fought. They yeah. definitely fought. That's but that's interesting. I never. I didn't even think about that because I mean they they truly bro. They said it the whole time. It was for entertainment. It was for everything. And the 
it wasn't an entertaining fight. The whole fight wasn't at all. And then towards the end of the fight, Wood, I don't know, Woodley wasn't winning, but he was, I mean, it was close. It was a neck and neck thing. And I mean, even the way, even the way Woodley explained how he got knocked out, all he was saying was like, oh yeah, I was just standing there. And then I just thought he was going to go there. And I flinched down. Like if you thought he was going right here and then like, not a lot of guys are, if he, if you're thinking up high, high shot, if you're thinking up, you're not just going to flinch down like out of nowhere like that. And he just came up and fucking knocked him out, bro. I mean, yeah, that's, and, that's I, nice. and I think that's why it was, it was either a really bad Tyron mistake, like a really, really bad one where, cause I mean, all fight, he, that's what I'm saying. Like all fight, Jake was doing that shot and then he was hitting them in the low. I don't know. There's just so many things that obviously there's going to be all these talks, but I it's, just it's, think, yeah. And like, I just think going back to the entertainment reason and for mm-hmm. money reasons, what does everybody want to see? They want to see a fucking badass knockout. They want to see everything. I don't know. We'll never know. No, yeah, we'll never know. But no, that does that does make I, sense. I definitely though. think they they did fight though. One hundred percent, they fought. They scrapped, dude. And Woodley, I mean, he fucked him up for a good amount of time. He, he had a he, he landed some clean shots, I think. So yeah, man. I don't but, know. I think you know McGregor's a possible chance. You got AB. I think AB. I think AB's. I think he'll try to fight him just to get the bag, just to make the the headlines, just to do mm-hmm. all that stuff. That's an AB move. Yeah, it's an AB move. That's what I I'm think saying. Jake feels like he's bigger than AB though at this point. I feel like you know he thinks that because I feel like. AB was in the picture a while back, dude. Cause like he was gonna fight Logan. Yeah. Him and Logan were gonna fight. Logan has like a whole diss track on the dude. Like AB made a whole diss track. Like this is not the first time AB's been in the the fighting game, you know? Like my only thing that I'm I'm still confused about the whole like why uh why Jake Paul never really fought Mayweather. Like why did Logan Paul only fight him and then just career ending when Jake Paul was the one that wanted like there's like I know there there's a storyline and there's a reasoning why they did that, but I wanna know that story. Like why Wait, what story? Why did why Jake should have fought Mayweather? Logan Paul should have never fought Mayweather. He should have just fought somebody. I think Logan at that point, Logan has always because I heard it in ah, I forgot where I heard this at, but Logan's always been the um, you know, bigger brother. He's always had the more fame, like the more like all this and that. He's always had everything like that. It's, it's, it's typically what bigger brothers typically get. But now he even that he even mentioned it because Mike brought it up to his attention. That's where it's from. He's like, dude. How does it feel that little Jakey is is bigger than you now? He goes in everything. And I think Logan's actually finally realized that. So I think he's pushing the boxing out of the side because he fought Mayweather, right? And that, dude, that can only be for one thing. Just to show, like, just to keep one-upping him. Like, he's one-upping. Does Logan do what he was like, over in fucking three? Like, does he even have a win? He doesn't, no. Logan doesn't even have a win. Mm-hmm. So there was no purpose of him to even fight Mayweather. Right. You know, so I think it's just, you know, that's a brother type thing. They're trying to keep one up in each other. And then he finally realized, you know, Jake's Jake's an actual fighter. He's not because he mentioned he's like, I don't have that killer mentality. No. yeah, And you got to have that killer mentality. And Jake, for sure, dude, Mm -hmm. he'll fucking fight a dog if he needed to, you know? (laughs) Yeah, that's real. So that's how that's where Um, where I stand with that. Dude, quick shout out, right? What's going on? Tyler Bray, dude. Dude, Tyler Bray, that's yeah. fucking awesome, bro. Dude, guys, if you guys excited. ever heard Tyler Bray, hey, we had him on the podcast. I can't remember if it was 13. It was episode 13. I was thinking 13 or 14. I always get him and Cole's mixed up. Mm-hmm. It was episode 13. If you guys haven't checked that one out, go check it out. Because, I mean, dude, I mean, his journey up until yeah. now, pretty pretty cool little, little journey, I think. No, yeah, you know, everything. Cool to, to, he, was a, he was chilling, you know, chilling being a family dude a couple days ago. And now he's, you know, signed, putting the pads on yep. for the 49ers. Like, you know, I think that's pretty cool. That's, I think, yeah, no, I think he was at the game. Like, he was suited up yesterday on, on the sideline. Yeah, he really? was there yesterday. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even watch the day that we found 49ers. out, actually, yeah, the day that we found out he got signed, the next morning he was already over there getting tested, getting everything, getting all his results in and all wow, this and that. nice, yeah. So then that way he would be ready for Sunday. Yeah. So nice. that, he's already out there. Yeah. Shout out to Tyler, man. No, yeah, for real. But that honestly, that that was crazy because that episode caught the attention of people that like live in Tennessee because Tyler was a big name over there, right? And then, you know, that whole money scandal, bro. Like I thought that shit was nuts. Uh, you're gonna call it a scandal? It, dude, I mean, okay, yeah. No, you know what? It's not a scandal. But what I will say is like because I mean, dude, there was guy like he like he said too, there's guys getting way more way money more. than he was. So that it's not you can't single him out like Mm -hmm. as a you know but like it is crazy to see that that was happening at the time you know what i mean and so like i don't know like Mm -hmm. i don't know i don't but i think like overall now with nli it's definitely going to get uncovered a little more like kind of the whole what was going on back then and everything but i think it was just a little same like a is it so like you know how like this thing called like double jeopardy i think it's called like double jeopardy so like you can't 
get in trouble for something after you've already been tried. To, like, so let's say we go to court and I'm trying to get you in trouble for something. And then after, you know, you're not guilty, you can't get in trouble for that same thing, no matter if you come out right. and say that you did it. And I think like, do you think there's a sense of like that double jeopardy now, now that there's NLI, now that people, people can't get in trouble for mm. coming out and saying like, yeah, you know, dude, coach Saban is tossing me 50 grand every month. I don't, yeah, kind of. I would honestly, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I think like, I think it's just exactly how he explained it. Cause he was just simply like, he called his agent, said, Hey, could I get in trouble with this? He's like, no, not really. And he's like, all right, fuck it. And that was kind of it. You yeah. Know what no, I, mean? and I think that's just after you've done it, like, think, like, think about it this way. Like, you know, our, the things we've done in the past where we like didn't say anything until like, it was like, all right, you know, I was fucking, that was some time ago. Like it's, you know, new, new time or, or like high school or whatever. Yeah. Like we talk about like something we did, like we weren't supposed to talk about in the high school times. And now, you know, same kind of scenario, I guess maybe a little more extreme. <laughs> yeah. Another exciting thing was that we released the vlog, bro. Dude. Bro. Got a lot of attention over that. that. that Got a lot of everything. Cool. Yeah. No, honestly, I really, I, I, I don't want to say I wasn't expecting that feedback, but like I wasn't like, I didn't really think people were going to truly see what our vision about it was. And dude, the feedback, like everybody was like, yo, dude, like the way you threw that in with that, like was sick, like everything, like blah, 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 blah. Like, bro, I was like, damn, that's sick. Like, bro, like I was like, honestly, I just was like, I was like, oh my God, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. (laughs) I I didn't realize it's like, wow. Like, but no, the the one thing I did want to ask you, like after everything was like, now now that it's done, it's been some time. Like, how do you feel that like it's out now and it's done? And everything? Because like we've talked about it. We can't can't wait till it's done. We can't wait till it's done. You guys have no idea because we would, guys, you guys have like literally no idea. After we'd shoot the podcast, right? One of these, we'd go home, we edit it really fast and we'd start on the vlog. Next day comes along. We get everything we have to do for that day and then boom, start the vlog. It was like that for months on end. So the fact that it's over now, we've gotten it out to you guys. You guys enjoyed it. You know, it just made the whole experience way more better. I can, and I'm so happy that it's finally over. And, you know, as much as I love doing it, oh, I'm yeah. so happy that that shit was over. Because guys, that thing was humongous. Dude, that was the craziest thing. First, dude, that was the first bro- video editing yeah. project I've been a part of, bro. And that be that big like that, like holy fuck! It was ridiculous, like, bro. That shit was 30, 40 minutes or total. What was it? Thirty eight minutes total. Yeah, thirty eight minutes total. And I mean, dude, there wasn't like we like we literally looked like there wasn't like a gap of mm-hmm. no sound or music yeah. or like something. Like we kept a good, you know, like I don't know. There's it was a song like, per minute or something like yeah. that, right? We used like thirty eight songs or forty and songs. It was like I was just listening to somebody talking about. It was a videographer talking about like how much, like genuinely, how much did you learn throughout the process, like. Like there had to have been some shit that you so actually much, bro. didn't know, and then you like just fucking. No, and it I out. think I've I mentioned it before the the amount that I've learned from just that video is ridiculous. Like bro, it the took I me, learned from that video was yeah, fucking crazy. Oh yeah, because like you know it was the first time where I made something where you know it wasn't just my opinion on it, so it was me and your opinion. So in makes in sense. a sense, it's like it this is going to be a perfect. This is going to be a perfect video, right? Because if I like it and then you like it. It takes you never know, perfect. It, it's never perfect, right? <laughs> never, no, I don't like perfect, man. Yeah, it was never perfect, but but no, to, it's great. Yeah. No, it was great. That's why use great. Yes, but I'm just excited it that great, it's dude. over. I'm excited for the next one too. Yeah, the next one. The I, next I, one's whatever gonna be cool. we do, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be excellent. I had someone said Africa, and we had a little Instagram poll. There was like Africa, uh, the, sa- was, the safari. Yeah, yeah a little Africa called? Safari. There was uh, the Super Bowl. We had... Uh, oh, the Super Bowl was sick. What yeah. is that, like in a month, though? Yeah, it's in a month. Yeah. Where's the Super Bowl out this year? Oh, Lo-Fi. Mm-hmm. Lo-Fi State. Dude, those tickets are going to be ridiculous, bro. Oh, my God. That's going to be electric, though. Speaking of Super Bowl, what do we think? Because, bro, I think with everything that they've been doing, with this trend we got going, the Rams have to see the Super Bowl. The Rams have to be in it. Right? It doesn't make sense if they're not. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Right? It, does, it yeah. wouldn't make sense yeah. like, at all. So I think it's going to be the Rams and somebody in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So that's that's my final thought on the on the Super Bowl talk. Yeah. Wait, you said Rams <laughs> and who? Rams and somebody. Damn. I don't know who it's going to be. But the yeah. Packers, dude, bro, they're good, man. But yeah. I don't know. Patriots put up a 50 bomb this last Sunday. Dude, 50 bomb. Like, bro. that's <laughs> nuts, dude. Great. Mac Jones, Mac Jones bro. Mac Jones only threw for 224 yards. Because I put a bet on it. That's the only reason why I know. And he only threw for two touchdowns. But I'm like, what the fuck, bro? How you, does that happen? Defense? Then, yeah, he had majority majority defense. And then the running back had like two or three touchdowns or something like oh, that. But yeah. yeah, so I was just like, damn. But 
That is fresh, man. But you got anything exciting coming up, man, before the next week, before next Tuesday? Let's see. Anything what's, going on? It's next Tuesday, man. I don't know, bro. Beginning of the year, I feel like it's always slow because, like, you know, I also do RJV production, so I make videos and I make other things for everyone. But you would think that people are off to, like, quickly start doing something new. Like, you know, more videos, more work. And, yeah, it's out there somewhat, but majority of the time, I feel like, people are slow to beginning the year you know that's it they're taking a while yeah, yeah getting back in the rhythm of things you know the holiday season paperwork. just came up yeah paperwork a lot of paperwork so you know right now it's not it's a little slow the right. reason a little slow but more time for this you know that's what i'm saying yeah really i think the next week is just trying to get the trying to get the apparel stuff like that oh going, yeah sponsors stuff, oh all yeah those kind of things that we have started and mm-hmm. we need to get finalized now and oh, kind of get yeah. rolling so I that mean, apparel shit's gonna be sick, dude. I'm you guys are gonna you guys are gonna love it. Yeah, I don't. It's gonna be it's gonna be exclusive. I think oh, it's yeah. gonna be a it's gonna quick exclusive. exclusive drop. But if you guys, I mean, the thing about it too is like we're not gonna the the quality. It our number one is quality, right? The quality is it has to be the best, the best. If it's not to our standards, then we're not gonna buy it. Yeah, you know, because we don't want we don't want cheap shit. Like the amount of shit that I've made in the past and like, it's already fall. It's already broken down. It's already worn out. Like, Shrank, the, you right, know, it's already doing all that yeah. shit is ridiculous. I want something that's going to last, last me for forever, mm-hmm. you know, quality and everything. So that's what we're going to bring to you guys. We're going to bring you guys the absolute most quality products that we could possibly get our hands on GBD it out, you know, just be some fucking dudes, man. And yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be some legit shit. Yeah. I think you got, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. I think you guys will enjoy it though. Oh, yeah. Cause it's, it's definitely like just a vibe. No, it's it is a, cool a vibe, vibe but. but it's not going to be many of them. That's the, that's the thing. So if you guys do want to be a part, first time drop. Yeah. First time drop. There's, exclusive. Not, and, and I think we've talked about it before, you know, like that first drop, like the drops, we're not going to redo them. Right. We're just going to, mm-hmm move on to the next design move certain, on to the next thing yeah, certain things, certain things yeah. like that so mm-hmm. you know when you guys do end up seeing this shit drop get your hands on it because i don't know if you're ever going to be able to get your hands on it again you know so but to wrap up things man where are we at in time we're at 45 minutes not bad for a first episode back yeah first think, episode uh, back man dude i mean i think we got to mention john madden betty white oh dude passing, mm-hmm. right i mean that's that's pretty john madden man. i mean freaking madden what are they gonna call are they gonna still call madden madden you think i know what's going on i don't know i thought that was pretty uh pretty upsetting to hear wake up to because that was a morning morning news yeah it was right when i woke up too yeah the betty white one was a later in the day one Mm -hmm. i believe and you know what's weird about the just missed 100 yeah dude she was 99 right i know yeah it's crazy just missed 100 dude me and uh my girlfriend's family we were just talking about betty white two nights before bro oh, really? i swear to god we were in lauren's living room bro we were talking about betty white about how like awesome she was or something like that and two days later bro we got an alert i'm like what the hell and it just goes to show man like this world is cruel there's so many people yeah you know passing and in just like the last like few months dude and i don't know if it's just because we never like realized it we've never actually like looked for it but it just feels like it's every week right now. Mm-hmm. And that, like you were saying, that John Madden news was depressing. Yeah, no, depressing, not just for us, but for the entire world. For the NFL world. For the NFL community. World, community. Yeah, Holy every, shit, yeah. dude. Not like yet. every NFL team you know, had a moment of silence. Like he was all over. People had, uh, uh, you know, the signs and everything at the games. Like it was a mutual upsetting feeling across across the country for sure. Yeah, and that no. Betty White thing as well, man. I mean. Yeah, she was she was a good old legend. I remember growing up watching a few of her shows and stuff, my parents and stuff like that, <laughs> the old old shows and all that. But <laughs> yeah, you already know the times. Yeah, good old Betty White. Good old Betty White, man. But I guess really, I mean, to close that one out, I'd just say you know, little little call to action. I guess we could say is just really, uh, I would say really, you know, take seriously, especially with this year, you know, into consideration calling those people, talking to those people, seeing those people that you haven't or that you might want to, any of those cases, you know, go talk to them. Just like I said, see them. Because, I mean, shit, we're damn near losing people left and right. And, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. And so, like, especially going up to, like, what I was saying in the beginning is saying yes, all that stuff like that, I would say go do those things you wouldn't normally do, you know, go do those things with the people you wouldn't normally see and all that stuff like that. 
And, you know, you don't know, you don't know what tomorrow has in store. You don't know even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You know what I mean? So like yeah. you're saying, call those people, call your friends, call your family, call anyone, man, have a conversation with anyone because you don't know if it's going to be your last conversation or if it's going to be their last conversation. Yep. And the one thing I'm trying to live by is be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So that's what I'm going to leave out on. And I think that's a great way to wrap up episode 29. So yeah. appreciate you guys. Yep. Like you guys, like I told you guys in the very beginning, you guys can find us every single Tuesday on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. And of course, if you're a visual learner like myself, then YouTube. But signing off is your host, RJB. Right here to my right is your boy, Luke. And we will see you guys next Tuesday. Yes, sir. Peace.